I have not seen that before. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this Herald Review. This is going to be a game with over two hours of gameplay and uh, 200 kills. It was submitted by a, a long-time uh, Herald Review submitter, so I expect it to be very entertaining. Let's see what we got. Just looking at him waddle around. Dewarding sentries. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, he puts the ward down. Nice body blocks from Kunkka. If only he had X. This would be a kill. That sniper knows his limits. Dude, don't talk about him like he's an anime main character, bro. Sniper's not fucking Tenjiro out here. Doing sniper breathing technique. Oh my god. Dude, this is the weirdest dewarding battle mid. It's They're just constantly warding and rewarding this exact spot. Okay, that's not the combo, but it worked, so I guess that's fine. I see. He'll be leaving the tier 1 token. Okay, that'll be a nice little treat for Weaver there. Oh, the bait. The tier 1 token bait. Oh my god, this is actually gonna work. That was fucking next level, dude. That was actually next level. Yeah, Kunkka's a hard hero. This is going to be a fight to the death. Okay. And they both died. That is the honorable way to go. Straight to Valhalla with you. Very good. Oh, I see. Weaver has level 2 Sakuchi. That actually might end up getting him killed. There's another tier 1 token there. So, because Weaver already stole Kunkas, he's going to leave the one that he got on the ground there. That makes sense. Not interested on Primal Beast? No, he doesn't want the token. He wants the dive. Yep, so there's another manning up situation going down. Kunkka will lose this one. And the ping comes out. As if that as if anybody else could have done anything to help. Is is he gonna place this observer ward right there? Dude. Dude! Why? Why? Why is he obsessed with this spot? I don't understand, dude. That's so random. Kunkka is gonna respawn and immediately fight Sniper to the death. Okay, cut that one out. That was wrong. Oh my fucking god, but he did ward in the exact same spot as well. Why are they both obsessed with that spot? I don't understand. Is this where the fight to the death occurs? Uh, I believe the answer will be yes. Who wins, ladies and gentlemen? Sniper wins again. Uh, yeah, that's the counter. The tree doesn't do anything. I can't click on the Weaver. I'm fairly certain he has ways out of this. Yeah, he de I mean, yeah. Yeah, he does. Once again, all five heroes from both teams have grouped up bottom lane. Sniper, the one to front line. Of course, this hero is very tanky. Almost immediately goes down on account of not actually being tanky at all. Techies goes in. Nice mine. Uses the Ghost Scepter, which I didn't know that he had. And Crystal Maiden also dies to just in the crossfire, essentially. Very pathetic. Dude, they're scared of him, man. Look at this. See him running away from the fucking sniper, bro. He's just in. He, and they're running. They're running from him. It's just him. It's actually just him here, dude. I'm not opposed to taking the occasion bounty. Okay. That's deserved. That is so deserved. 
Snakes? Snakes eat frogs? They're pretty much the same fucking type of animal. Snake's just a long frog. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I gotta say, dude, these two mid laners have the biggest fucking balls. Like, genuinely, they have the four biggest balls in the universe between them. And one of them might have one ball, them up, what the other one might have three. I didn't I gave an average, you know. I didn't say who had that they both had a pair. Because I don't know with these guys. You never know. And he's just right in. Just right into the, the thick of things. Okay, Bristle has taken over the role of the frontliner. Finally. He's sick and tired of this fucking sniper going in and feeding relentlessly. Can sniper get out? No, he can. He's still behaving like that frontliner. As the slam down comes in, Techies is up. Will he TP in? Will he get here in time to save his team? Yes, Kunkka. There's no detection, so he is just sitting here like a peeping Tom, watching this from the corner. He's going to hit a five-man boat. Doesn't steal the Aegis, though. Doesn't even try. So that is going to be Aegis towards the Sniper. Undying goes down instantly. Does not grab Ally himself. Ooh, nice Ghost Scepter from the Techies. As the CM is in, she's got the BKB. Techies is in on the Kunkka, or the Kunkka's in on the Techies, who also takes out the Sniper on the sideline. Bristleback, he's got that Bloodstone. Not healing for enough. Primal Beast charges through. He's godlike. Kills the Weaver as the Disarm comes out on the Sniper. So this is Sniper versus two. Throws the Rock. Hits the Sniper. Hoodwink. Has TP if she wants to use it, I believe. AFK. Okay, does use the TP. Primal sees the TP. Uh, Hoodwink gets scared. Okay, Primal's still looking for the Hoodwink. Alright, I really got a piss. Badly. So, I'm gonna be right back. Tell me if something funny happens. And I'll go back to it and watch. Oh my- WHY?! WHY?! WHY DO YOU DO THIS?! YOU MOTHERFUCKER! It's not BSJ, dude. Stop saying it's BSJ. He wouldn't call himself Brian Butthole Canavan. He takes his butthole very seriously, man. Okay, there's the sniper buyback. Gotta be careful. That guy has the biggest balls of any dwarf that I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of dwarven balls in my lifetime, let me tell you. I'm into some real kinky shit. There we go. The mine comes in from the techies. Not gonna go. Okay. And five minutes, and we get 60-minute neutral items. And then the game goes on for another hour. Not a good time to go AFK, I will say. Um, CM also sold his boots. When did he sell his boots? And why? Why and when? How long has his inventory looked like this? Has he... Okay, what time were we at? We are at like 55. He, dude, he had boots, Pavis. Why? Oh, I caught him. Oh my god, you're kidding. Dude. Please don't tell me he got bored of waiting. He got- oh my god, dude, he got bored of waiting, he sold his fucking boots. That's what happened. Uh, the Ancient is under attack. If only there was somebody to defend this. That would be very convenient. Yes, I agree, Techies. That is a worthwhile ping. I suppose I should not be surprised by that. Whose orchid recipe is this? How long has an orchid recipe been on the ground? There's just an orchid recipe. I'm I'm gonna assume it's Hoodwinks, because that's exactly where he was standing. I don't know. We'll never solve that mystery. God knows I could go back like 60 minutes and it's still there. Okay, so Sniper now has his heart moon shard ready to go. And he's gonna eat the moon shard. Ooh! Is he gonna take the first tormentor of the game at 74 minutes? Dude, why are you, bro? Okay, well, for some reason, this is the only thing that he's afraid of in this game. He's afraid of nothing else. As the Weaver going for the throne, he's actually doing decent damage through backdoor. If they don't come stop him, he will eventually throne. Um. All right. Uh, 
Is it a throne race? No, there's a fight going on. Weaver is trying to throne. Dude, he is slowly but surely doing it. Okay, CMTP's back. What's going on in the fight over here? Looks like everybody's going down. Bristleback doing a lot of work. CM, is she really going to solo kill the Weaver? She is. He does not press the Bloodthorn on her. Okay, well, it does mean that everybody has to go back to base. Or CM has to go back to base. So her team dies. So here's what he did. He's like... Waits for the Silver Edge to come up, and then he Silver Edges in and then sneaks himself through the trees. And so, uh, once again, it's one of these situations where I'm not entirely sure what the plan is. It's just like, okay, step one, get in the base. Step two, question mark. Step three, profit. Uh, and that gate, by the way, does give vision. It, it does give, for some reason, it gives vision to the Dyer. So they, they do see him. Or they did see him there. For see, see, for some reason that gives vision to the dire. And also, so, so does the throne. So they know that he's just like rummaging around the trees over here. And the satanic will not do enough. That's enough peeping for you. Uh, see him as jungling to get her heart and wards. Oh, here we go with the. With the wraparound tactic again. I am not entirely sure why he's here in this corner. Alright. I have not seen that before. I can... Or this. <laughs> yeah, this is a fucking weird one, boys. This is a weird one. <laughs> Good lord. Look at what Techies has done. Oh my god. This freak. Okay, Primal is going to go in to all of the mines, though. Got to be careful. He gets hexed up. Bristleback is there as well. Primal's just running through all of the mines. He's like, fuck this shit, dude. Get me out, bro. And he goes down. Yeah, my boy just walked into fucking World War II. Oh, here we go. Block of cheese time, baby. Block of cheese time. He's put a lot of stuff on the ground. He's got the block of cheese. Eat the block. Eat the block of cheese, dude. Is he gonna give it to his- to... To one of his carries? Wow, he's actually gonna give it away. He... Ate it. Okay. He's got the block of cheese. The savory shield. Look at that regen, dude. It's very useless, actually. It is not that good. But it's cool to see. Uh, Bristleback is on. Oh my god. Why? Why does he like this corner, dude? And why do they have a ward checking to see? Techie's put mines in the trees to detect the undying. So he doesn't tombstone the fucking fountain again. And by the way, the Techies does indeed have a Scotty now. So he is transitioning to be a right clicking Techies. So at this point. At this point, the Dyer, and us, I guess, could have watched an entire Harry Potter movie. We could have watched Harry get cucked by Ron. Oh, Undying! He's in his corner! He's in his corner, he's gonna go for the base. They have fortification. The mines are exploding, so they know that he's there. They've seen this one multiple times. Yeah, the pings come out. They're like, dude, he's doing it again, man. He's doing it again. The Hex comes out onto the Templar Assassin. The Primal BC jumps in onto the Techies, who is a carry at this point, so very important. Bristleback runs in. He's got the Blade Mail. He's got the Axe Machina. TA doing quite a bit of damage to herself through the Blade Mail. The Kunkka dies top to the Hoodwink. Bristle doing quite a bit of right-click damage. Crystal Maiden gets the ulti popped. Eon Disc up. Techies, he's very low. The Tombstone's there. Somebody inside of it? I have no idea. Not a clue. The Ancient is going down to the Creeps. They've got to be careful. There are buybacks available. Techies buys back in order to defend the Ancient. Of course, that's his job this game. 
And they take down the Primal somehow. Okay, Primal BKBs. The Weaver's very low, but the Primal has nothing. Actually, he does have ult, but he gets caught out by the Hoodwink. Very nice stun by her. Okay. Bristleback, they're gonna go on him. The Undying Tombstone comes out. Bloodstone is there. Sniper gets caught in the back line by the Primal Beast. The buyback comes out from the Hoodwink. Bristleback, he blade mails. Is somebody gonna go for the throne? The Sniper gets slammed down. The Techies, he interrupts. It means Sniper can get the Satanic off. Primal Beast goes down. Bristle does as well in the back line, but he buys back and he's in his base, so he will be there. As the Kunkka goes down, he's very useless, so that doesn't surprise me. The TA gets broken, so he does not have Psy Blades anymore. Crystal Maiden goes down. That's two minutes on the deck for all of these heroes. As the Dire, are they actually going to do it? They're going to kill three heroes, no buyback. The Undying, he's trying to run away from there. Uh, Radiant's bottom barracks is under attack. The Weaver's going to go for that. The Undying is there. The TA bought back. She's getting slowed by the Scotty. Bristle wants to go for the throne. The Weaver's also going to go for the throne. There is fortification. They have fortification. They're not using fortification. It's over. They just didn't use it. After two hours, in 11 minutes, the game is over. And the base defense of the Sniper and the Techies, they win. This is why you never give up. Two hours and 10 minutes, definitely worth 20 MMR.